All right, y'all, we about to go live. We about to go live and see how this works, see how this works. Ooh, I'm feeling nervous in the mug. Let's get this started. Let's get it started. All right, let's get this started, man. This is my first video. My first video on the book, John C. Maxwell, How Successful People Think. Hold on, let me start it. Let me start over. What's up, everybody, man? My... <laughs> Trippy. <laughs> What's up, everybody, man? It's your boy, TC Productions, man. Back with another, another, another video, man. Uh, today, we'll be talking about the book, John C. Maxwell, How Successful People Think. I've been, I've been wanting to do this video for a long, long time, but it's like now I can get up, stop being fearful, and just do it, man. Just do it. Don't worry about how it look. Don't worry about how it sound. Just do it, right? Just do it, and we'll, we'll, we'll worry about the rest later. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, so I've been reading this book. And I just feel like that the mindset helps you take you to where you go. It's first, the mindset is a vehicle to where you want to go, right? So if you're watching this video, man, make sure you like this video. Or make sure you share this video, right? I don't care if nobody watching. I can't even see you watching. So, so change starts with the mindset, right? How do you want to go where you want to go, right? I don't care if you're a CNA. I don't care if you're a doctor. Um, I don't care if you're a business owner, right? It all starts with the mindset first, right? Everything comes with, comes uh, through the thought, right? Even even God, right? He created the earth with what? The mindset, right? You, thoughts manifest, right? So, first we're going to talk about success, right? Anyone can have success, but only few can get it, right? It's just like the saying, many people are called, but few are chosen. Right? I think every one of us who feel who feels our wants to be successful wants to have it. But there's another saying that we have to do. There's another work that we have to do, right? Even though we have the mindset of being successful, we also have to do the things that make us successful. Right? So everybody has a mind, but it's how we use it, right? You can use your mind in a negative way, you can use your mind in a positive way. Right? It's just like the same thing in school, right? What are the pros and what are the cons, right? Negative result or a positive result? It's just like electrons, right? You got positive electrons and you got, I think you got <laughs> positive and <laughs> protons. You got protons and you got neutrons, right? All right, let me skip on because I'm probably, probably messing it up. <laughs> okay, so let me stay on top. Let me stay on top. So, um, so when we talk about success, right? You must do whatever it takes to reach success, right? Anything and everything is possible in the mind, and it's also possible in reality, right? So, why, why is it important to have a success? Let me, let, me, let me back up, let me back up. So, when we talk about will you do whatever it takes to be successful, we're talking about will you go forth and will you do anything and everything to accomplish it, right? Some people, just like myself, we give up um, when we see when we see stuff not working, right? So we talk about everybody who wants success, but only few do it. That's what I'm talking about, right? You think the people who are great today stop at where they was at, right? If I come from a poor beginning, but I want to be rich, you think I can stop at being poor, right? To get rich, how does that sound? I stopped at being poor, but somehow I want to be rich. No, right? You also have the mindset of being rich, but you also have to get there, right? You can't just watch TV and say, I want to get rich. You can't just read books and say, I want to get rich. You have to also do the things that help you to become rich, right? Just like my friend said, you know, we can listen to motivation all day, right? But if we don't act on the things, then motivation is only going to get us so far, right? So that's what we talk about when we say, will you do whatever it takes, right? So, again, let's move on. Why is it important to have a successful mindset, right? This is key. This is key. It's important to have a successful mindset 
because it will change not only you, but it will change the others around you. Right? That's deep. That's deep. What do I mean by it? it would not only change you? What am I talking about? Right? They said in this book, if you change, if you change a man, then you can change his environment. If you change your thinking, then you can change your life. Right? I'm gonna say that again. If you change your thinking, then you can change your life. And not only not only will you change your life, but you also change the other lives around you, right? So, uh, when having a successful mindset, not only does the opportunity uh, comes to you for the things that you want, but other opportunities will come for you as well, right? You could think of, say, say if you want a job promotion, right? And a job promotion, they give you a new raise, right? That's probably the only thing that you think of, but not, uh, not only does it come with a new promotion, but it also comes with new finances, right? New car, right? New house, right? It, it opens up more doors when you have a successful mindset and not a negative mindset, right? So, let's talk about the first thing, all right? Let's talk about the first thing is uh, having a successful, uh, how to have a, how to, <laughs> a how to change with the mindset. Change starts with the mindset, right? Let's talk about that. I, I'm, I told you it's my first video, so I'm messing up, but I'm going to keep on going. So, it's going to get better, it's going to get better, it's going to get better. All right, so we got the first thing when it comes to having success and a successful mindset, right? So, success. Oh, my hand ran this horrible. Success is not easy. My hand ran it ugly, but oh well. Success is not easy. It's not easy for no man or for no woman. Seriously, seriously, seriously. I do not know anybody on this earth that attains success easily, unless it was handed to them, right? Unless your mom, dad, whoever handed you that success and, you know, you were just born rich, right? But the most people that I know, or the most people that I read about, they come from a uh, poor beginning, right? Talk about Michael Jordan, right? Coming from a city where a lot of people don't make it out. A lot of people don't make it from the league, right? When you talk about, um, who else, who else, who else? Um, you talk about, uh, Steve Jobs, right? This man really left college, slept in, uh, slept in his, uh, college, his roommate on his couch. He slept in his roommate, uh, dorm on his couch. Didn't even go to college, but was working on his business. You think that was easy? I I'm pretty sure he got talked about. Pretty sure his family was like, man, you're not going to go back to college. That was not easy for him, right? Success is not easy, but guess who? Guess who Steve Jobs is today? Right, man, it's more than a more than a more top billionaire. Right? It was not easy to get the success that he wanted. Right? Even for some of the women. For some of that women that's out here. It's not easy to attain success. Right? So, uh, when we talk about success, it's not easy. Everything and anything will pull you down for success. Right? It could be you. I'm going to talk about being you later, right? But sometimes it can also be you uh, in, in, your, in the way of your goals. But it could be family. It could be friends. What else can it be? It also could be your environment, right? Sometimes you got to get your environment to attain success, right? Sometimes you got to do that. Sometimes you got to get away from friends. Sometimes you got to get away from family. Sometimes you got to get away from yourself. Stop thinking the thoughts that, that you think. Like, think positive thoughts. Sometimes we generate our own negative thoughts instead of other people projecting on us. Right? So, uh, alright. Negative thinking. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Doubt will try to overcome successful thinking. Right? So, you don't want to, you don't want to doubt yourself. Right? When we talk about success, it's not easy. Don't doubt yourself in being successful. Know that you can do the things that you want and learn how to do them, right? So it's just like anything that you want in life, you can do it. Manifestation is real. Successful mindset is real. So that's what I'm talking about. It's not easy, but it is attainable. So last thing I want to talk about is work at it until it happens. We know that a lot of sports, we talk about what's your work ethic. Even jobs, what's your work ethic? 
What's your work ethic? Are you a hard worker? Are you a team player? Are you a leader? How do you work at hard? How you how do you work at hard times? Right? You have to work at your goals until it happens. I don't care how many days it takes. I don't care how many nights it takes. I don't care how many years it takes. I don't care how many people who don't like your post. I don't care how many people don't share your business. I don't care how many people don't like your shirts. Don't share your shirts. Don't read your books. Uh, don't get a promotion on your job. Whatever it is, you have to work at it until it happens, right? Work at it until it happens. Again, success is not easy. No one said it's going to be easy. It doesn't happen overnight. I don't know any millionaire that attained success that was easy. Okay, okay, okay. So, two, change thinking is worth the investment. Let me write this down for y'all, right? Number two, uh, if I got no space to write it, I'm gonna just put change thinking, worth, move that, the, and best thing. Change thinking, let me just put this, is it's worth the investment. Now, how is change thinking worth the investment? Well, in plenty of ways. Plenty of ways it's worth the investment, right? Let's talk about this. Let me, let me give you an example. Um, if the shirts that I want for my business cost $50, right? Let's just say, let's just say they cost $25 each. And I sell them at fifty dollars. Don't you think that's a good investment? If I buy shirts at a price of twenty five dollars and I sell them for fifty dollars, that seems like a good investment, don't you think? That's twenty five dollars off each shirt, right? So same thing with the mindset, right? Um, if every day I think about the goals that I want. And I'm trying hard to get them, I'm trying hard to get them, I'm having this work ethic, and I'm going hard for the things that I want. Don't you think when I reach those goals that it's all going to be worth it at the end? Right? It's like, it's like building a train, and you're trying to get to wherever you're trying to go. Building that train is hard work. But guess what? The lovely process is in going and getting to wherever you need to go. Right? So, uh, Again, uh, let's talk about this. Okay, I'm going to read you a quote. I'm going to read you a quote that comes from the book uh, by John C. Maxwell. He says, um, But a human mind with the ability to, to think well as a diamond never runs out. I'm going to say that again because I messed up. <laughs> the, hold on, hold on. But a human mind with the ability to think well is like a dining mind that never runs out. The human mind that thinks, that has the ability to think like a dining mind that never runs out. Right? So we know that diamonds are precious. We know that the diamonds are well worth the investment because we know that people go get rings, they go get jewelry, they go get watches, you know, all these things, you know, with diamonds, right? And we talk about the diamonds that, that go through the fire. Right, it comes out what? It comes out precious as, you know, gold. You know, but it's not gold. It's diamond. It's silver. So, but I'm gonna go ahead and move on. But y'all know what I mean. Y'all know what I mean. So, um, we talk about the change thing is worth the investment. Another thing I want to talk about is write down your goals. Write down your goals. A lot of people want to be successful, but they don't write down their goals, and they wonder why they're not successful. Right. But it's another thing that comes with writing down your goals. You also have to, again, this book now also totally talks about the mindset, the thinking mindset, but it also talks about the action, right? Just because you write down your goals doesn't mean you're going to get them. You have to start doing the work, right? You have to start turning that wheel, turning that wheel, right? You could look at the wheel all day, but if you turn it, you're, but if you don't turn it, you're never going to get there, right? You could say you want to be successful. You could say you want a job promotion. You can say you want to start the business, but if you never actually do the work, then how's the things that you want going to get started, right? So, again, write down your goals and watch what happens. 
I remember a friend of mine, uh, his name was Gerard, um, back in college, we're still in college now, but uh, we had this thing called Man's Initiative, right? And one thing that we do is we write down our goals, man, so I post up my goals, like some on the refrigerator, probably keep them in a book, and I just read them every now and then just so I can have that affirm confirmation that wherever I'm trying to go, it's going to happen, right? Soon, my, soon the things that I put on paper will appear to me in reality. Right? Same thing that it can work for you. Anything that you put on your paper that can manifest out into the world. That's why when people put their dreams and go I'm pretty sure that the people, I'm pretty sure, just like NBA players, you know, some people, some the top NBA players, I'm pretty sure they was in the hood saying, I'm going to be in the NBA one day. I'm pretty sure a lot of people didn't believe them. A lot of their friends didn't believe them. Some coaches probably didn't believe them. But they stood to what they said, and they said, I'm going to be in the league one day. And guess what would happen? They did it. They did it. But again, many are called, but few are chosen. Anybody can think of success, but not everybody can get it, right? So you have to put in that work. If you're not putting that work day in and day out for the success thing that you want, then you're not going to get it, right? I know a lot of people say, bro, I'm going to go to the league. Well, all right, is you putting that work in in the gym? Is you finding the people that you need to meet? Is you um put it just are you putting in the work day in and day out? Right? Same thing on your job, right? You gotta go to work every day. You wanna get that promotion? Okay, this is a list of all the things that you need to do. You wanna start the business. This is the thing that all that you need so you can sell at your business, right? Okay, let's move on. Let's move on, let's move on, let's move on. To number three. Expose yourself. This is a big thing. This is a big thing. And why is this key? We will talk about that. Expose yourself. Oh, it's not. Hold on. Talk about this right here. Exposing yourself. In a good way. In a good way. <laughs> in a good way. Exposing yourself. Expose yourself to who? Expose yourself to good thinkers. Why do you want to expose yourself to good thinkers? Well, here, I'll tell you why. You want to expose yourself to good things because guess what? Feedback is key, and also being around other like-minded individuals will help you get there faster, right? I have a lot of friends that also uh, want to create success for themselves, right? So if I hang around those people, what you think I'm going to do? I'm going to create success for myself, right? It's just like the saying, if you hang around five, if you hang around five broke people, guess who's going to become six? You. But if you hang around five rich people, guess who's going to become rich? It's because of the knowledge that you have, right? You got to stay around these people, right? If you want to be a basketball player, stay around basketball players. What you doing hanging out in the streets for? Right? Get around, get, get, stay in the gym. You may meet somebody in the gym who could take you farther, right? If you have a business, right? Get around other entrepreneurs, right? Feed off them. Learn what they learn, Right? You have to meet the people that you, you have to meet the people so you can go to where you want to go, right? So it's just like, um, uh, it's just like taking a class, right? And you're interested in the class. Say, say I'm interested in Spanish and I really want to learn Spanish, right? Of course, I'm going to talk to the professor. Of course, I'm going to do my paperwork. Of course, I'm going to do my assignments, right? But if I really want to learn Spanish, but I want and I also want to be around some students that really want to learn Spanish, Guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to talk to some of the students. I'm going to get a couple of uh, uh, sessions booked with them. We're going to go to the library. We're going to bang this thing out. We're going to really learn how to uh, speak Spanish. Right? Because if I'm around you and you around me, we're going to learn and we're going to feed off each other. Right? So that's all I got to say is expose yourself to other minds, other good thinkers. Right? So, uh... Just like I'm saying, if you want to be rich, find someone that wants to be rich too. If you want to uh, be an entrepreneur, find other people who want to be entrepreneurs too. If you want to do hair, find someone who wants to do hair too. Right? You have to expose yourself. Expose yourself to good thinkers. Right? So that's all I'm going to say, and that's number three for exposing yourself and how successful people think. Uh, also, when we talk about exposing yourself, expose yourself to new new knowledge, right? So what is the new knowledge that you can gain, right? If you want to start anything, 
you must gain knowledge in it first, right? It's just like a new language, right? When I was talking about the Spanish, right? Of course, it's going to be hard at first, but if you have the books, if you have the resources, if you have the connections, if you have the people, right? Then the law of attraction will automatically come to you and it will expose you to these four things and you will eventually, eventually get it. But it's not overnight. It's not in a month. It's not a, it might not even be three months, right? These things may take a year of time, right? A lot of people want success overnight and that does not happen. A lot of people want to get rich overnight. That does not happen. Who do you know get rich overnight? Who do you know that does that? I don't personally know anybody that does that. I know people that put in the work five to ten years later, then they become successful. Right? So that's what I'm saying. Is expose yourself to other uh, good said mindful thinkers. Alright. Number four. Always think at your higher self. This is a big one. This is a big one. I don't think you got ready for that one. I don't think you got ready for that one. I don't think you got ready for that one. What do I mean by let's just write it down. Let's just write it. Think at your higher self. Think as your higher self. Should I put always think? I'll just put Always, always think as your heart. Think, always think at your higher self. Always think at your higher self. What does that mean? I'm big on vibration. Big on energy, 